No go by number 15, Melissa Longhane, as the Tigers rebound it. Conhoyne with the ball. Who passes it to Prentice? Back to her. 31. Back to Canhoyne. Back to Prentice. Back to Canhoyne. Dribbling down the court. The ball of 15 to 31. Erica Langley. Fiona Pierre with the rebound. Passing it to 22. Sovac. Sovac dribbling down the court. Deciding what she's going to do. Ultimately passes it to, to Erica Richards with the shot. Erica Richards is proving to be quite the savior this game. 43-21. And now with the free throw, she gets one shot. Better make it count. With the replay. Erica Richards with the shot. And the Orange Town native brings the Orangeburg native, correct, brings it to 44-21 as the Tigers are now in possession of the ball. 15. <laughs> Passing it to 24. Shantana Canhoy has proven to be very leading in this game. Tigers with the ball. Canhoyne with the ball again. The Hawks. And the Tigers with the shot. Number three with the ball. Number 22 with the ball. Fiona Pierre with the ball. With the layup. By number 20, Fiona Pierre, the North Rockin High School native. Number 24 with the ball. Tigers with the shot. Nice swish by Shantana Conhoyne. Erica Richards with the ball again. Passing it to Nikki Sasperano, who passes it to Fiona Pierre. Number 20, no layup. But she has earned herself a free throw shot. At five foot nine from West Tavistraw, representing North Rockland, Fiona Pierre has proved to be an effective player this game. Unfortunately, she did not on, proclaim a free throw shot, but she has another chance. Attempting another free, show, free throw shot. Oh, whirls in the hoop, but does not make it in. Rebounds, uh, almost makes up for it. Number 24 with the ball. Tigers charging, charging down the court with the pass to another pass with the free throw. I mean the jump shot. And Melissa, Melissa Longhorn recovers the ball as Nikki Sasperano passes the ball back to her. Number 15, recovering the ball and then earning herself a layup. Mel Melissa Longhane, number 15, representing the Hawks. Certainly earned every part of that. 48-25 is the current score. 16-33 on the board. Erica Richards trying to defend the team. Fiona Pierre, unfortunately, earns herself a foul shot. Last two replays, Fiona Pierre with the layup. Look at that replay as Nikki Sasperano passes it and Melissa Longhane Scores a layup. Nice job by the Hawks. Tigers ball. Passes it to number 55. Almost loses it. 24 with the shot. No goal. Melissa Longhorn gets the ball. Passing it to the team leader, Nikki Sasperano. Fiona Pierre. No go. And she's earned herself another free throw opportunity. Fiona Pierre at the foul line. North Rockland native going to attempt another free throw shot. Here it comes. No go. It's okay. She gets another shot. Fiona Pierre is not going to let down. At five foot nine, represent North Rockland. 
Fiona is a player, a force to be reckoned with. With the shot, not in. Tigers recover the ball, charging down the court. Charging down the court. With the shot, missed. As you can see, there's a bit of bent-up aggression as Fiona Pierre is acting very aggressive on the court. Number 22 with the ball. Number 55 with the shot. Nice recovery by 15. Erica Richards with the shot. Earn herself that layup. 50 to 25. The Hawks are double the score of the Tigers. It has been long proven that flight was a better transportation to land, and the Hawks are definitely representing the flight method as to the Tigers, land animal. Earn themselves a halftime. Not a halftime, a timeout. Excuse the language. 15-50, 50-25. No fouls on the, t on the Hawks, that is. Tigers have three. Talking some strategy. You know, you could be up 100 points, but there's still room for improvement. Maybe that's what the Hawks coach is preaching right now. What I can only imagine what's going in the mind of the Tigers is that they may be down, but we're not out. Boxers can go 15 rounds and still not end the fight. Perhaps the same can go for basketball. Hands in. Great unity between the Hawks. Rockland Community College definitely has a great women's basketball team. Players are back in the field. It's the original five lineup. Thirty one well with the ball. Passing it to number twenty four. Ken Hoyne with the ball. Ken Hoyne with the ball. Erica Richards looking for the guard. With the shot. Shantana Con Hoyne with the point. Erica Richards has the ball. Passing it to number 15, Melissa Longhorn. Longhain, correction. Longhain. Nikki Salmon, no. Saspinero. Tesperano with the ball. With the shot, no go. 31 with the ball. Blocked by Erica Richards. Ooh. Timeout. Injury on the field. Injury on the court. Injury on the court. This looks like it could possibly be a head injury. Could we get an instant replay of that? Does not look good. That is number three, Nikki Saspinero, the team leader. Just got knocked straight on the back. Looks like number 24 isn't looking good either. Amazing support shown for Nikki Sasperano. Fans are now live on the fan cam. The chance of hi mom clear throughout the bleachers. Looks like Nikki Sasperano and Shantana Canhoy are going to have to sit out for a while. In for Nikki Sasperano is number five, Akane Kanzaki, a Japan native. It should be quite an honor for Kanzaki to take the place of her team captain in time of need. Number 31, Alice Langley. with the ball. Hawks and Tigers, 50-27, 15 on the clock. 25 with the ball. Fast paced dribbling. Kanzaki with the defense. 
Tigers remain in control of the ball. In control. Hawks recover the ball. Katie Sovac with the ball. Quickly recovered back by the Tigers. Fans are chanting for the white team, which is, of course, the Hawks, the RCC natives. Fourteen thirty-two on the clock. 50, 50 points, Rockland Community College. 27 for Queensboro CC. It is out. RCC now has the ball. Sovac with the ball. Pierre with the ball. Kentucky with the ball with the jump shot, not in. Richards quickly captures the ball. Looking for Melissa Longhane. Pass back to Richards. With the wild pass, Kentucky recovers. Passes it to Sovac. Passes it back to Longhane with the layup. Good job, Melissa Longhane, number 15, representing Rockland Community College, originally from Pearl River. 31 with the ball. Dribbling down, passing it to number 15, who is Naeja Irby. Passing it back to 31, Langley. Langley with the wild shot. Nowhere. <laughs> Kentucky with the pass to Richards. Richards dribbling down the court. Determined. Passing it to number 15. Intercepted. Passing it to 20. Looks like Prentice is back in the game. Charging as angry as a bull. 31. 25. With the jump shot. No go. 15 has the ball. Passing it to Prentice. 15 with the shot. No go. Unfortunately, that's out on Fiona Pierre. <laughs> Naija Irby with the ball. Quick pass to Giselle Prentiss. But it is recovered by RCC zone. Melissa Longhain. <laughs> Melissa Lowen with the ball. With the shot. 31. Alyssa Langley with the ball. Pass to number 20, Giselle Prentice. With the shot, and it is not in. Recovered by Fiona Pierre. Pass to Sovac. Whoops. Looks like it is out of there. Katie Sovac in just wild control of the ball, but laughing it off with Erica Richards as they prove that they are homies of one another. Sovac looking for a quick pass. And the pass goes to Kitsaki. Back to Richards with the jump shot. Not in. Fortunately, Prentice with the ball. Erica Richards looking for the wild steal. No go. Prentice is determined as all you know what. With the jump shot. No go. Quickly recovered. Ooh. Teeter totter. No good. Twelve seventeen on the clock. Fifty four twenty seven. RCC is officially doubled. Fiona Pierre sits out for number twenty one. Alex Gunderman provided some effective offense in the early inning. I mean quarter. Prentice misses the first, but makes the second. Katie Sovac is now in possession of the ball, charging down the court faster than the flash. With the quick wild pass as Prentice recovers the ball, charging down the court quicker than the flash. I'm using that reference a lot today, ladies and gentlemen, but it's true. These girls are running faster than the flash, as right now demonstrated by Katie Sovac. Quick pass to Kinsaki with the wild jump shot, and it goes in. Good shot, number five. 
Akane Kinsaki representing Rockland Community College. Number 31 with the ball. This has been a rough game for 31. I'm not too sure if she's made a point, but she's been an effective player, as is Prentice, who passes the ball to number 25, Crystal Santana. And unfortunately, that's going to be out on Rockland Community College. Irby with the ball. Sovac caught them the ball again. Princess with the ball. Shot. No go. Quickly recovered by Melissa Lowen. Katie Sovac with the ball. Pass to Erica Richards. Back to Sovac with the shot. Nice fadeaway jump shot courtesy of Katie Sovac, number 22, representing RCC. 31 with the ball again. Being guarded by number 5. 20 with the ball. Right now, the Tigers are mainly being led by number 20, Giselle Prentice. Prentice. Katie Sovac with the ball. With the pass to Erica Richards, number 15. I mean 14, correction. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. With the ball, Erica Richards with the layup. Swish! This game has been all Richards, ladies and gentlemen. All North Rockin' to be correct. But Richards, I, if I had to say, would be the highlight. 61-29. They're up almost 40 points. With the shot. Butterfingers by Melissa. By Melissa Lowen. But it's quickly recovered. Gunderson passing it to Richards. Richards to Sovac. Sovac with the jump shot. No luck. But quickly recovered by number five. Kane Kanzaki will now attempt free throw shot. Two free throw shots as called by the ref. The Tokyo, not Tokyo, Japan native with the free throw. Makes it in. 62-29. Does not make the second. Quickly rebounded by Melissa Gunderson. I mean Alex Gunderson. Gunderman. Sorry for the screw up. It should be noted that Melissa Lowen and Alex Gunderman looking an awful lot alike. Failed defense. Does not cost a shot. Alex Gunderman with the ball. Attempting for the offense. His cost is a charge. Alex Gunderman does not look happy at all, ladies and gentlemen. Gunderman with the pass to Kinsaki. Back to Gunderman. To 23. Arias. Gunderman with the shot. Does not go in. with the pass to 25 with the shot swish courtesy of number 25 Crystal Santana representing the Tigers Kentucky with the pass to Gunderman to Arias back to Gunderman I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. 
person I was calling Arius before is actually number 24, Brenda Addison. My dearest apologies. Number 20 with the layup, but no good. Nice pass. I mean block by Gunderman. Pass to Arius. Back to number five. Back to Gunderson. To number four. To number five. Loses the ball. But Gunderman takes it with the fadeaway. No go. 20 with the ball. Nice dribbling skills. Nice dribbling skills. Precise like a ninja, as is number 20, but no go. She has been a ninja on the court today, ladies and gentlemen. Giselle Prentice. With the slicing and precision, similar to that of Deadpool's swordsmanship. Ninja on the court. Attempting a free throw. Will she make it? No go. Number 55 is quickly replaced by number 22, Lodeza Gonzalez. Number 20 with the ball, with the free throw, and it is go. Good job. Giselle Prentice, the highlight of the Tigers tonight. Kinsaki with the ball. Passes it to Gunderson. But who was there? Quick argument. 31 with the shot, and it is in by Giselle Prentice. 64-35 is the current score. Seven minutes and 42 seconds left. Kentucky with the shot. I mean with the dribbling. Free throw or not. Gunderson with the pass. Tama Desire, number four. Number 24, Brenda Addison with the pass to Kinsaki. To Gunderson. No go. Number 20, no go. The block, but no go. As a point is scored for the Tigers. Timeout. Ref calls a timeout. Ordered by the RCC coach. Rich Jacobson. Fourth season coach, might I add. It is seven minutes and eight seconds, ladies and gentlemen. 64, Rockland Community. And here comes three replays. Melissa Gunderson with the ball. With the shot. Correction, Alex Gunderman. I do apologize for butchering the name. Sovac with the shot. Good shot by Sovac. I do apologize once again, ladies and gentlemen. That is Alex Gunderman. And there's Erica Richards with the shot. Sixty-four thirty-seven. Seven, seven minutes and eight seconds on the clock. Two fouls, RCC. Six fouls, Tigers. With the pass to Kanzaki. Gunderman, Alex Gunderman, that is, receives the pass. There was a foul called. Number 23, representing RCC, Pricely Arias, will now receive a jump, a free throw. Arias. Is a Montebello Suffern native, standing at five foot eight. Tigers with the ball. Number twenty 
the dominant force with the Tigers charging on the court. Passing it to 25 with the jump shot. No go. With the shot, no go. 22 Kuku recovers, passing it to Alex Gunderman. Gunderman with the ball. Passing it to Kanzaki. Passing it. Number 23, Price Pricely Arias with the quick layup. Elise Langley with the ball. Number 20, passing it to 25. Once again, no go. Gunderson with the ball. Gunderman, that is. Why do I keep butchering her name? Alex Gunderman dribbling down the court. Number four quickly recovers the ball. Pass it back to Gunderman. Akane Kanzaki passing it back to Gunderman. Passing it to 24. Blocked. Gunderman with the ball now. Kanzaki with the ball. Quick pass. Number five, Akane Kanzaki with the free throw shot. Does not make it in. One more. Ref allowing her to take one more shot. Kane Kanzaki, the Japan native, with the free throw. Brings the score to 67-37. RCC is up 30 points to Queensboro. Dribbling down the court is number 31 who is fast, small but fast, passing it to 20. <laughs> 20 with the ball. 15 with the shot. 22, no go. 21, passing it to Kinsaki, number five. From Japan, number 24. Five with the ball, with the shot, and it goes in, courtesy of a Kane Kanzaki. Nice shot. Timeout. Congratulations by the ref. 69-37. Four minutes and 55 seconds remain on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Lineup discussions are probably being held. It looks like number three, Nikki Sasperano, was recovered from her previous head injury sustained earlier. Sasperano was once again the team captain. Game is back on. Looks like the Tigers already have their lineup. Same lineup remains for RCC. Tigers remain with the ball. Number 22, Ledeza Gonzalez passes the ball to number 31, Elise Langley. Dribbling down the court. 25. The jump shot. Gunnerman with the ball. Number five recovers the ball. Quick wrestling match. Gunnerman. Quick pass. You can see the frustration.
Ball is being recovered. Number 24 with the ball. Quick pass to number five to Gunnerman. Number 21 to 24. Addison providing the defense. Number five with the jump shot. 25 does not make it in. 25 has attempted many jump shots, but they have not been successful today. Where is the communication, guys? <laughs> Looks like. Thought there was going to be a free throw for a sec, but I guess not. Back in. 20 with the ball. Ordering her. 25. <laughs> Pass it back to Jessel, Giselle Prentice, who I believe has been the true shining point of the Tigers. Number 21, Alex Gunderman passes it to number tw number five, Akane Kinzaki. 21 with the ball. Oh. People, please keep in mind, basketball is supposed to be a no-contact sport. You've seen a lot of physical contact this game, as there is once again a missed jump shot. Ooh. Kinzaki recovers the ball, holds on to it tighter than the lid of a, on a pickle jar. Number five with the ball, Kanzaki. To Addison. Treetop, no good. To Ma Desire with the treetop. It is now the Tigers' ball. Addison with the defense. It, Alex. Alex Gunderman passes the ball to Gonzaki. To 28. Gunderman with the defense. Proves to be an upset, but is quickly rebounded and not delivered. Gunderman with the ball. Number 23. Arius with the jump shot. I mean the layup. No go. Number four. <laughs> Two minutes, 16 remain on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. RCC is at 69, while Queensboro is at 37. Addison with the ball to Gunderson. Back to Gunderson. To Addison. Desire, number four, with the layup. Twenty-five with the ball. Will she make it? Nope. Five with the ball. Layup made by a King Kanzaki. Correction, ladies and gentlemen, that is Tama Desire. My mistake. I've been butchering names. Butchering names like a butcher in a butcher shop, and I apologize for that. Action replay by Akane Kanzaki, number five, the Japanese native. 21 with the ball. Passes it. Desir, miss layup. Passing it back to Queensboro. One minute, about a minute and a half remains on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Gunnerman with the ball. Passes it to 23. Arius back to Gunnerman. Quickly taken by Addison. Pass back to Gonzaki. Missed jump shot. Oh. 
with the defense by Desir. Kanzaki with the defense, but unfortunately it gets out. There is 58.1 second, seconds left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. 73 to 37. I'd say that unless the game really sped up, it is RCC's favor. RCC's ball. Alex Gunderman with the ball. Gunderman with the pass to number 23, Pricely Arias to Gunderman. Back to Arias. Attempted defense. Gunderman with the ball. Dribbling down the court faster than the speed of lightning. With the layup. And who she just toppled down. Saved the ball. She is on the ground. With the shot. Ooh. Gunnerman might be injured. And what an attempt to make the shot may leave her injured. I sure as hell hope not. 31.6 seconds remain on the clock. 73 to 37. Alex Gunderman has been a real help during the game, ladies and gentlemen. It would be a shame if she could not play. <laughs> Back in the game comes Katie Sovak. <laughs> 30 seconds remain in the game. Let's see what happens. Tigers with the ball. Number 25 with the shot. No success. Another shot. No success. 25 seconds exactly remain on the clock. Missed free throw by number 22, Ladeja Gonzalez. Correction, Ludacy Gonzalez. And another miss. Katie Sovak with the ball. Recovers it. 20 seconds. And I think they're just going to let this one play out. Akane Kanzaki being ordered to sit over there. Kane Kanzaki, who will make the final shot. Game over. RCC victorious, 73-37. Congratulations once again. Final score, Queensboro 37, Rockland 73.